James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video for this 2004 Fiat Heimerkamp C546 2.8 JTD 5 berth motorhome. It's done just 59,000 miles and it's got full service history with six services in total. Okay so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them to be really popular because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home but as if you were here in person. As you go around the vehicle with you today, we'll look at all the panels individually, we'll look at the wheels and the tyres, we'll have a look inside the vehicle, looking at all the uh, utilities in the vehicle, we'll look inside the toilet, we'll have a look inside the kitchen, have a look at the beds, and then we'll have a look in the cab, um, looking at the seats, the functionality, and all the things that you would look at if you were here in person. Now, once you've watched the video, if you're happy with what you see and you want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere that you need it to be. If you're looking to finance a vehicle, we can go through an application with you and look to see if we can do anything for you. Obviously, it's a specialist vehicle um, and, uh, you know, it will be subject to status. Please give us some uh, information. An application takes about five minutes and we can usually get your decision within about an hour or so. Um, once you've watched the video, if you think you've missed something or if you want to see something in a bit more detail, please ask. It's not a problem. There's nothing to hide. Happy to show you absolutely everything. Right, let's start with the front and then we can work our way around from there. Obviously, it's based on a Fiat Ducato, um, but it's obviously the Heimer, Heimer machine, Heimer uh, body and uh, motorhome gear. I'm trying to think of the correct word for it. Um, obviously a uh, really reliable unit um, used by many different companies over many years um, and for a good reason they work really well. So as you can see the bonnet's in great condition obviously it's got the bonnet bib which is there specifically you know to protect the bonnet from stone chips and it's obviously it's done its job. Front bumper working our way around looking at the headlight and the front grill Hopefully you can see and appreciate it's in really nice, clean condition. Passenger side wing, nice and clean. There's no obvious marks or damage. Everything looks nice and clean. Passenger side front wheel and tyre. Obviously it's a wheel trim. Um, tyre is, it looks like a correct van tyre and plenty of tread. I would say probably six or seven mil. Windscreen is nice and clear. There's no stone chips or cracks that are obvious. Passenger side mirror back is nice and clean, free from damage. And that's the same for the mirror as well. Let's have a look at the door. Hopefully you can see from that, it's in really nice clean conditions. Um, all the graphics look nice and clear and the door panel itself nice and clean as well. So, um, top of the body, as you can see, there is a little bit of crazing, nothing serious. And you can see you've had a bit of a, um, some of the paint just peeled away a little bit on there. Again, it's not bad, it's not damaged, it is just there and what it is. Windows in great condition. So let's work our way down the passenger side. It's got a Fiamma F45S uh, wind out awning. It has got the pole with it as well. Obviously that works perfectly. Looking down the side, there are a couple of little tiny pendants. Um, nothing serious. pretty much it on the side and there's a couple more there but again very very light there's a very light scratch just see if it'll rub and it won't it won't actually show up that easy but you can see it there it is very light passenger side window is in nice clean condition there has been a little bit of damage at some point there but as you can see, it's not leaking into the actual panel itself. There's no condensation or mist in it. It looks nice and clean. There's another little, little dent there. Considering the age of the vehicle, it's nothing at all. 
Um, so this side here, there is a plant drawer. We can lift that up. And as you can see, it's got some chemicals in there. Um, some um, leveling, what are they called? I can't think of words. Um, there's a hose pipe for your water and everything there as well. Enough to get you started anyway. Obviously it's got onboard water tanks as well. Um, Grey and uh, clean. Passenger side rear wheel and tyre, it's a matching tyre. Um, I'd say there's a little bit more shred on these tyres, probably about seven or eight mil. Very good condition. Have a look inside in a few minutes time. Onto the rear panel. And again, it's in lovely condition. It really does look smart. Tailgate nice and clean. Tailgate bump, rear bumper if you like. All the rear lights are nice and clean, there's no damage. There's no obvious marks or damage on the rear at all. Everything looks really very nice and clean. Rear window. No damage, everything looks really nice and clean. Which that's your vent for your okay. On to the driver's side. Um, obviously, we've got um, the toilet compartment, we've got another little cubby hole here. Um, let's have a good look down the panel. The sun's right in my eyes, so just bear me one second, just make sure we're not missing anything. Obviously, it's a nice big panel, so make sure we don't miss anything. lovely and clean to be honest with you I say um, it's obviously been cared for and maintained really well and um, there's a couple of very small little dints there I think you can just see them I'm just being completely picky um, there is a small mark here at the very top and there's another little dent there but it is tiny um, decals look in fantastic condition really nice and clean set the vehicle off completely um, side window again it's really nice and clean very very clear no damage at all um, this is your um, gas and your electric containers in there as well driver's side door Again, exceptionally clean, really very smart. Driver side mirror, front and rear, both clean, no damage. And driver side wing, not done the wheel and tyre. Um, it's a matching tyre and matching tread depths for the rear. Uh, that's your grey water exit there and the tap is there to, uh, to open and close it so you can drain that driver's side front wheel and tyre again it's a matching tyre so it's a full set of tyres matching all round lots and lots of tread right so i think first thing let's have a look in the cab good place to start so um door card Really very nice and clean. It's got windy windows, so they're never going to fail. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice and smart, very clean. Driver's seat. Bolsters are really nice and firm, and the material is really lovely and clean. Very smart and vibrant. Um, it smells nice as well. Handbrake on the side, obviously. And there's an element of control for the seat, which basically goes up and down. Let me jump in. There are two sets of keys, one there and there's another one in my pocket, um, but basically there are two sets. So it's put in neutral, um, it starts straight away, no issues at all. Um, you can see from the dashboard there's no warning lights, just a handbrake, um, but nothing else at all. It, it runs beautifully. Um, both seats have the armrest which is adjustable passenger seat bolsters are extremely firm it really doesn't feel like anyone's ever sat in it very much at all but then again it's got really low mileage and 
the dashboard is really nice and clean and it's free from damage. Um, there's an RDS stereo black punct. Um, and as you can see, everything else is really nice and clean condition and free from damage. The steering wheel is really very clean and there's no um, colour left at all. Everything looks spot on. Right, so um, switch that off. Let's have a look in the back. That's the important part. Obviously, there's a bit you're waiting to see. Hymer, it goes without saying, it's really, the build quality is fantastic. Your water container, or your water fills there. So the build quality is fantastic. Um, obviously, you, you knew that by looking at this. Um, it's got the electric step. There we go. Steps in lovely clean condition. Um, nice and sturdy. Onto the interior. So as soon as you walk in, you've got some cupboards. Um, you'll notice all the wood, it's really decent quality um, and um, everything is really very nice and clean. There's no nasty smells inside at all. Um, 240 volt electrics. Plenty of nice little drawers, cupboards and lots of space. Um, you turn around, look into the rear of the vehicle. Um, oven and it's got the rotisserie Let's open that so it's got the <laughs> the rotisserie that's an unusual thing I've not seen one of those before so you can put your rotisserie chicken in there and cook your chicken in there if you want to um, they work on gas and electric um, drawers for cutlery all your gas controls are in there so you've got a uh, Wind down safe, so obviously that will unclip and you can turn it around and put it back on the other way. Um, you sink with hot and cold water. Hob. You've got three ring hob and all your circuits on there. Um, full size fridge, really nice size. Oops, there you go. Um, with a small freezer compartment, so obviously a Dometic freezer. Um, it's really nice and clean throughout and everything looks spot on. Uh, plenty of little cubby holes for your bits and bobs. Obviously all the pneumatics work perfectly as well as you can see. Um, I, I struggle to believe that anyone would knock this to be honest with you. Um, your control unit with your 12 volts um, and obviously all your water and everything's on there as well um, all your lights and everything are on here so you see that switch there controls them and then that one there controls the ones above everything as you can see works perfectly um, in the toilet area um, it's got the swivel toilet and it's got the uh, twist around basin and it's got obviously the shower unit which doubles as your taps um, everything looks really nice and clean um, and it's in good order i say it's got that uh, beach water finish and it just looks everything looks nice and clean and sturdy obviously that's the thing with the hymer um, you've got the pop-up vents so again, walking inside on the corner, you've got even more storage space. Um, so um, the rear seating, it's got the important um, seat belts on the arms, so the proper decent seat belts. Um, on the right side here, um, you have got, this one has got the, uh, again, the arm belt, but this one's a lap belt. Um, so, I mean, for instance, I don't, I don't know if you'd travel with five. I think it'd be ideal for like a normal family, two adults, two kids. And I think you'd have your kids there facing forwards. And obviously, if you've got five, then it'd be that one there. So you've got proper seat belts on all the seats that are important uh, for the amount of people that you would be carrying. Uh, this one is a bed. And obviously, this one's a bed. So um, it's a double above, double here, and then a single here. So that's your five. Um, 
as you can see, everything all around the vehicle is really exceptionally clean. It all works perfectly as well. We've tested everything. Um, so your heating and your water, everything that you would basically need does work. We've tested it all properly. Um, it's got a decent aerial system, Vision Plus with booster. So that's your hot water system in there. Um, that's your water tank underneath, as you can see, all looks nice and clean. All the materials in the back, all the seats, they're all very clean. Um, there's no damage, everything looks nice and clean on there as well. That's your cubby hole underneath. I'll have to leave that for a second. Let's have a look. Try to put that back properly. I'll have to do that in a minute, but it's, not, it's difficult to do it one handers. Um, more cubby holes, similar to the ones on the side. everything as you can see is lovely and clean uh, there's no nasty smells inside it doesn't smell like damp at all and um, there's no signs of anything in regards to damp and obviously you're more than welcome to come and see for yourself and test that but yeah everything's in really lovely condition down so the bed above the cab is in, in my mind massive it's really a decent size um, I used to have an old Fiat Ducato um, Swift Contiki and uh, the bed above the cab uh, was uh, coffin like <laughs> it's probably the best way to put it I loved it um, but my partner hated it um, so you know this in comparison is like a, a luxurious double bed Lots and lots of space, really nice and open and clear, and a lovely window there as well to look out of. Um, so the window, the roof, as you can see, opens up. To give it lots of nice and air, airy feel. You can have it at open if you wish. Um, a little bit of damage there, nothing serious. As I say, it's in really nice, clean condition throughout anyway. As you can see on the roof, everything looks really nice and clean. That's a blackout blind there as well. So you can have that open at night and still have the blackout working, no problems at all. Um, it's got the stand for the television. Um, lots and lots of cubby holes underneath, etc. But as I say, it's a really nice, clean motorhome. It drives wonderfully. And it's obviously got all the amenities that you could ever possibly need. Um, on the windows, you can see that they've got the blinds. So they've got the blackout blinds and they've also got the fly nets as well. So you can have either or. They're all in really, really nice, clean condition. Couldn't ask for any more, I don't think. So uh, it's got the speakers in the back as well. So when you can have the radio on in the front, it also will on the back. So everyone can enjoy that. It's got uh, plenty of overmats. And the floor's in nice condition. And it's got the ladder, obviously, as well. And the net. Oh, not sure what else to show you, to be honest with you. It's in lovely condition. Um, I think anyone would be happy with it, to be honest with you. I certainly would be. Um, be very jealous. I'd love another motorhome. Uh, right, so that one just unclips. That's it. Let's bring that back over and wind that back down. Just so you can see it working, obviously. But the, the mechanism works perfectly. And as you can see, the glass roof or the plastic roof, I suppose, is in perfect condition as well. That's it. It's shut at that now right so i think i've shown you 
everything that can in there obviously if you want to see something else please just ask it's not a problem at all um, the step as you can see it's that button there and it tucks itself away perfectly so a quick look underneath Everything looks nice and clean under there and dry. Spare wheel. Um, it seems to be a full size wheel and the tyre is in great condition. All the chassis underneath is really nice and clean as well. Oops. Oops, hang on. Sorry about that, it had uh, lost itself for a second. Uh, yeah, so everything, again, as you can see, everything's really nice and clean underneath. Um, the chassis is in great condition, as is the exhaust. And everything looks spot on. It's just... Um, I'm gonna say I pop the bonnet. Let's find the bonnet catch first, I suppose. Oh, there's the other set of keys, by the way, just to show you there are two sets. Come there for a sec. So the bonnet catch is there. Um, as you can see underneath, um, same as everything else, it's in exceptionally clean condition. It's obviously got full service history, which is the important bit. Um, decent sized battery, which is uh, quite modern, and it's a Varta, obviously it works perfectly. Um, underneath, you can see that the brake fluids are nice and clean, all the coolants are the correct levels. Um, in the engine bay, there's not a great deal to see, to be honest with you, but it is nice and clean, and you can see that there's no signs of any historic oil leaks. Everything looks really nice and dry and clean. Okay, so hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here in person, um, maybe a little bit more. Obviously I can appreciate it, it's a motorhome, so it's one of those items where you probably want to come and look at it yourself and feel it and touch it and have a play with it and see it. That's something that you can do, or obviously you can use a video uh, and see what the vehicle's actually like before you come. Um, alternatively, obviously if you're happy with what you see and you want to buy it, please just give us a shout we can look after you no problem at all so thanks for watching and sticking with me i really appreciate it understand it's a long video um but obviously it is what it is so we need to show you as much detail as possible so thanks for watching and sticking with me i really appreciate it more importantly at the moment though stay safe look after yourself bye bye